Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is Yanka Kekrizan Yosolo. The much awaited Lok Sabha 2024 election has concluded today peacefully. With an approximate voter turnout of 56.16%, the Chief Election Commission officer will now give a press briefing. will now be connected live. Have a look. Polling personnel on duty. We had 300 or 329 micro observers. One great thing about this election is that we've had quite a number of PSS, which are all women managed, uh, PWD managed, and uh, in, in Kohima, 10 Northern Angami 1 assembly constituency, uh, which had 28 polling stations. All these polling stations were manned by women. So, barring none, all the polling stations in 10 Northern Angami 1. It was managed by all these polling stations were managed by women. Similarly, we had some youth managed polling stations also and PWD managed polling stations also. Now, during the course of the day, you had we had fairly uniform polling all through the day. At the close of poll, which is at 4 p.m., the rough numbers for the entire state is 56 percent. So, this is what our polling percentage is. I have given you an overview of the entire polling process. I would now request the state police nodal officer uh, to brief you on the security aspects of the polling that happened. Our respected Director right here, who is chairing this press briefing. Respected CEO, Commissioner Nagaland, officers of the DAIS, election officers gathered in this room, and my dear friends from the media fraternity. As already mentioned by our CEO, the polling uh, the polling process today from the state has been peaceful. There has been no major reports of any law and order or any kind of violence that has taken place anywhere in the state. And uh, it has been very peaceful. So, the I will just give a broad overview of uh, the total number of police personnel, security personnel who we are deployed for this entire exercise. We had deployed 48 companies of CAPF. We had deployed 46 companies of our own IRB and NAP. We had deployed 600 personnel of the Home Guards. We had deployed about 5,761 personnel of the District Executive Police, which is the civil police in respective districts. And we had also utilized the services of 9,583 village guards. So the total personnel which were mobilized for the entire election exercise for the GLS 24 was 22,954. I repeat, it was 22,954 personals were pressed into various aspects of election security duty in the state today, including the manning of all the polling stations. The polling stations throughout the state was open right from 7 a.m. when the first mock polls were carried out and it was open till 4 p.m. in the evening. So the entire polling exercise, polling stations were open and there the CAPF and the state arm and the NAP had given the polling station security. Over and above that, forces were also deployed as part of the striking force and the striking reserve. The entire state was divided into more than 200 sectors. So there were sector commanders and sector magistrates clubbing or clustering about 4-5 villages and they were constantly on duty throughout the day 
and we are responding to any situation that uh, was reported and uh, no major incidents were actually reported uh, throughout the day. The, over and above that, we had also taken the services of the village guards. It was given to us by the state government under the Commissioner Nahalem and a total number of 9,558 uh, village guards also assisted uh, in providing in the six eastern districts as well as in Melumi, where they were utilized for ROP, road opening uh, parties, for striking reserve and striking force, and other election related duties. No formal complaints were received anywhere else in the state, except in Okha, where three criminal cases have been taken for business of. Uh, pertaining to impersonation, which was complaint given by the, the sector magistrate, based on which police have arrested three persons in Rukha. Besides uh, the, these three cases of impersonation, no other criminal cases were reported anywhere in the state. Now the parties are coming back, the strong rooms duty will continue, and we are very hopeful that the pre-poll violence, the pre-poll uh, election process was peaceful, the polling has also been peaceful and we do not anticipate any post-poll violence as of now. Thank you. Thank you. Our respected CEO Nagale, respected State Police Nodal Officer, the officers on times and friends from media. Although the model code of conduct was announced on the 16th March, but the preparation of election started long back with the preparation of EV and then rule revision. A lot of hard work and then thanks to you all reaching us to the grassroots level. Nothing to add much, but I was, as an RO, I was assisted by one AR at my commissioner office. 58 ARO that consist of all 60 assembly constituency in the ground to the field level and then all the deputy commissioner including the ADC Bhagavatam. These were the officers who were mainly involved uh, for every election work from my side and the EVMs will be stored at the district level but the postal ballot, postal ballot will be coming to the RO office for the counting and collection also. On 30th of March, when we finalized the list of candidates, we also transmitted service order. That was number was 7847. That was electronically transmitted to, to the people who were serving in the forces from our city. And we are in the process of receiving this service order, postal ballot costed by them. Uh, till now, we have received First, I will tell the postal ballot. Postal ballot belongs to the abstentions order, 85 plus KLOD and then orders uh, from the essential services. That numbers comes out 295 till date. We have received 295. Service order we have received 351 out of 7847. But the time of receiving service order is just before starting of counting on or on. Fourth, total we have received 646 postal ballot till now. This is one more information I have already given to all the political parties and candidates, but through you also, again, I want to reiterate that this could be of Form 70A, that is uh, the decision, the cross, the conduct of election, the decision with the, the party's candidate, along with the observer, and then RO will be taken tomorrow at 11 am. It will be started. 11 a.m. tomorrow at our office. Uh, these are the small things which we wanted to share. If there is any question from your side? Yeah. I just want to share something. Excuse me. Uh, may I request you to kindly introduce yourself, your organization? I'm a from the Northern Service. I think. 
so ein Bettel, wenn ich nicht mehr will, dass das doch gar nicht gelangt ist. Natürlich gibt es da die Art der Diskussion auch so sehr kurz. Und so, bitte, Leute. Your delicate is a point, is a minus is so. Whether the Indian area almost one third of the Olympics did not vote, they are still from the Olympic exercise. How do you call this election system? I think the SPNO was very clear that he did not, he mentioned very clearly that there were no violent incidents reported. So absence of violence is what we were insisting on or what we were focusing on when we said that uh, it was a peaceful conduct of elections. And I think you would appreciate that that has been the case largely. Uh, though again, as Pierre mentioned, a couple of uh, three cases have been having been registered in Oka. So uh, that was the context from where we were speaking. Thank you. 
We want you to read it. No, just the GC if you can say. Please go through it. It's not a, it's a one page order. So you can just go. Actually, there are big some. Just give me a minute. Thank you. So, before mock poll, uh, during the process of mock poll, we had to replace 42 BUs, 58 CUs, and 78 DD types. That is during the course of the mock poll, which began at 5 30 today. Uh, so we had to replace 42 VUs, 58 CUs and 78 GD types. Now after the poll commenced, that is after uh, 7A, we had to again replace 13 VUs, 13 CUs and 33 GD types. So there was some uh, replacements and these are the ones. So regarding that, uh, I didn't understand your question. You were asking that all women polling stations are just in Kohima village is what your question is. Yes. You are asking whether all women polling stations were concentrated in Kohima village. Yes. Uh, I think so, yes. How many polling stations are there? 28. In polling, in how many polling stations are there in Kohima village? Yes. That I don't know. I don't have the answer. I was told that there are four police stations in the uh, LK, three police stations in the DKL, another three in the DKL, and two in the uh, DKL. Yeah, but yeah, you want to ask anything specific about, okay, there are so many police stations. Hence. These three errors have been made under uh, 39 Sanis uh, slash 25 Piangsha, then 39 slash 37 under Lakuti, and 40 slash 46 under Gokatu. Was there no formal concerns? 
was there no official complaints about good, good capturing from the Congress? Officially complaints were not there, some complaints were given which were forwarded to the respective uh, deputy commissioners. So one complaint was about tech, couple of complaints, I think two, three complaints came about Kohima, Kohima district I am saying. Then a uh, couple of complaints I think about Mukokchum. So those were forwarded to the respective deputy commissioners and the district election officers. The concerned officers then acted quickly and the respective sector magistrates went and they have done the necessary groundwork and they did the uh, verification and reported back. Reported back. Complaint the person who complained to the person who complained. So there was no good, there was no good capturing as such. No, the complaint was verified and there was nothing found out. That was on the press briefing live from Kohima. That's all for now. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV.